perfectly cut. so that you can get on the free page every single time, get an insane amount of views and an insane amount of followers, and no matter how many follow content you need to be making, a few other important factors that are incredibly important for you actually being successful on TikTok and really taking advantage of the growth that you can get right now. And then like I said earlier in the video, the watch time and length that you need for your specific niche, because TikTok is moving to watch time and length for specific niche, not just in general. That is the biggest update for this algorithm, so let's get into it. So first in 45 minutes, they start to back off, and then they continue push it out over the next 72 and that's going to be huge for you this means you're going to be getting followers you're going to be getting views on autopilot for the next 30 days and if you go viral you can keep posting so you can keep having posts going viral and it's really going to help you on tiktok that being said though you so i wanted to thank everybody who ended up supporting the shop sale that i had last last week a week two weeks ago i don't even remember now time is a blur but you know thank you to everybody who placed an order um if you didn't know, I had a shop sale to help with some of the vet bills to cover Olive's um, unexpectedly expensive surgery and money that I still had to owe for Clarice's teeth from September. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you. It was an overwhelming success. Like I, I'm kind of trying to like tamper my my hopes and expectations for things like shop sales these days because the last few like shop updates I had and the in late 2020 didn't go quite as I had hoped, but I think I'm already starting to see results of my consistency. Well, I can't say consistency because I haven't exactly been consistent yet, but for my efforts, I'm, I'm finally seeing some results for my efforts of trying to make this thing work. So thank you to everybody who placed an order and thank you to everybody who keeps making stickers with me like spooky stickers is doing a whole world of things and you can probably see behind me I got a huge roll of holographic laminate film uh, so that I can make everybody some sparkly stickers but I'm just like slowly building up all of this stuff for my two little businesses and you know I didn't think January was gonna be a successful month but you know, it's blown away my expectations. So thank you everybody for all of your support. It really means the world to me. So we are inching closer and closer to a thousand subscribers. I think the last I checked, I was at like 280. And I'm sure most of you are coming from my react and redraw videos, but still like, thank you for the support on that front. Um, you know, building up this YouTube channel this year is one of my biggest goals and the support of just everybody passing through is gonna help me meet that so whatever you're here for if it's the vlogs if it's for uh, my react and redraw videos if it's for something completely different I welcome you
Hello from Editing Ashley. Um, so in this clip, I'm showing you that I'm testing out my inkjet printer and comparing it to the prints I have made for my stickers, which is on a laser printer at a local print shop. I am trying to test this out because uh, as you see in a minute, I'm gonna be doing some foiling to these black stars. And the foil that I use will stick to the laser printing and not the inkjet. So I'm trying to see if my inkjet printer is a good comparison. And you can see like the colors are kind of off, but I think I need to clean my printer head. So yeah, I'm really excited to get into this process. And I'm doing a voiceover because the day I was filming this clip, Ryan was playing video games very loudly in the other room. So you get editing Ashley. I know some people have already kind of seen and asked about the foiling stickers because I posted them to Instagram and TikTok. And this is literally me like testing them out. I haven't done anything besides what you see in this clip yet because I want to see if I can figure out how to refine the process. But it's it's just, there's there's a lot of tutorials you can find on YouTube about it. And I'm not quite a source yet to teach this because I'm still learning. And if anybody who's watching this has any pointers, please feel free to let me know because this stuff is gonna be a huge pain in the ass, I can already tell. Aside from like my own personal use and for my own products, I would love to be able to offer this with spooky stickers. But part of the thing that I was testing with the inkjet printer is one, how well the prints can turn out and two, how well the laser print will align with the inkjet print because they're obviously from two separate machines. And I'm struggling with the alignment part so far. I figured out that you can um, kind of finesse it like just by tweaking it and stuff, but that's gonna waste a lot of paper. And if anybody has tips on how they, they do this stuff, because I know if, I, if I'm gonna do this for people, they're gonna want to be able to like have spot hollow on their designs. And this film, you might hear me say it, but it's so thin to work with. And I found out after this first clip that not to tape down all of it because it causes a lot of streaking. I haven't done any more testing of this because I want to try and make myself a lamination carrier, which is basically like a folder that you can put it in and it'll put it through smoothly and hopefully that'll keep it from like wrinkling and stuff, but I just haven't gone to the store to get what I need. Oh, that's the little slicer I'm using to cut it because I heard that this stuff is really hard to cut. And I can confirm that it is very hard to cut. And of course I messed it up already. I will let you know that this machine, it sounds like a ship creaking on the sea and it smells like burning plastic no matter what. Like it's straight out of the box. I, I had just opened it before I put, before I did this first test. And like, I think I was, I was probably hungry and tired, but I was also like feeling really kind of delusional after smelling it for like an hour or so. I don't know what to do to fix that though might just have to suffer through it. I had seen some people successfully use the little pieces of washi tape to hold this foil in place, but I found out it kind of causes it to adhere to the sticker paper a lot, and I ended up having to tear it, and it just was not great. But look at how good that There's looks. Some things to be learned here. 
One thing I'm bummed about is the foil is so delicate that it easily scratches off, so I'm not sure what to do to prevent that either. I'll just have to keep doing some research. And then here I'm testing out to see, I had intentionally printed inkjet over a laser print page to see how well it adhered, because I heard that you had to do the laser print last, but it looks like it stuck pretty well. So I'm just gonna keep playing with this process and see what I can figure out. Hopefully in the next month or so, I can offer this to my Spooky Stickers customers. So now while I wind down this vlog and you get to watch me lay out my bullet journal planner for the week that we're currently in, I just kind of wanted to talk about my businesses. And you know, it's, I, I think I'm doing the thing that I, hope to do for the rest of my life and I'm really excited about it but I I want to do it right and I don't have very many people in my life that I can go to for advice on how to run a business and the part that I'm stuck in currently is trying to figure out how to register my business and get everything set up legally and correctly because one of my biggest fears is having the IRS come after me and I don't want that to happen. I just want to, you know, do everything the right way and get it all set up. But, you know, this country and this state does not make it easy for us to start. So I guess I just have to do some more research. But we're at the end of the vlog now. And I want to thank you guys so much for being here. So much for supporting me and my work. Thank you for everybody who has subscribed. If you haven't already, please click that button because I am so, I'm closer every single day to reaching my goal of a thousand subscribers. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week for a react and redraw. Bye.